Negligence imposes liability on a careless actor who causes injury. But are some activities so dangerous that they warrant imposing liability without proof of fault? In Exner v. Sherman Power Construction, a construction company carefully stored its dynamite, but the dynamite exploded anyway. Sherman Power Construction was doing blast work for a hydroelectric project in Bellows Falls, Vermont. Sherman kept over 1,000 pounds of dynamite in a storage hut near the project. The hut was located close to homes, factories, and a hotel. A state law prohibited keeping dynamite within 50 rods of an inhabited building. 50 rods translate to 825 feet. Many inhabited dwellings were within this radius. One February day, workers retrieved boxes of dynamite from the hut. The dynamite detonated in their arms. A massive, fiery explosion killed three workers, blew the hut to atoms, and shook the ground for hundreds of feet. Delia Exner was at her home, 935 feet from the hut. The explosion threw her from bed, causing injury. The home she shared with her husband also suffered extensive damage. The Exners sued Sherman, seeking to recover for personal injury and property damage. The Exners claimed Sherman was negligent in handling the dynamite. At trial, Sherman's president testified that there wasn't a safer location to store the dynamite that would comply with state law. He explained that the dynamite had to be accessible to the project, and the fire marshal consented to the storage location. The trial court reasoned that Sherman's handling of the dynamite violated the state statute and found for the Exners. Sherman appealed to the Second Circuit.